matchup between my pile and Eric. I like my tattoo. It's the bit where it comes out a little bit on the chest. Mm. Uh, Probably not finished then. Uh, let's take that away. Well, nice to see this Nothing wrong with those type of tattoos. Just as long as you don't get, you know, like nicknamed. Yeah, no, not, not over your chest. No, not over your chest, no. You can have it small somewhere that's not noticeable. Perhaps on your back like a football player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or like, but no, nah, like, get a freaking t-shirt. Get, just get t-shirt man. Fast pens, oh, I'll tell her, I'll stand it there. He's lost, he's been losing his match. Oh yeah, there's two guys just without a bit of the chair. It's just not finished. Mm. More to come, I guess. And he's a couple more UFC fights to pay for that. Yeah. A few more thousand. With more than 40 pro fights to his credit, now north of 40 years old, here is Mike Quicksand Pyle. How about this? Made his pro debut against Rampage Jackson in Memphis, Tennessee in 1999. Was a catchweight fight at 205 pounds. Pyle weighed 175. Rampage, 25 pounds over the limit. Mike Pyle not afraid to make the walk that night. And once again, fearless as he makes the walk for another UFC. I think submission is. Oh, no. You got a submission. In every fight that you see him you in the You don't even belong in the submission. No. And finish with a submission. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight really? fight. So a more than five same year height, gap between same these weight, two fighters when it comes reach. to the age Just with the older. same height and reach. Years. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the yeah, action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon and murder. Why does everyone seem like all the referees? Why do they all seem bold? This is the moment. So, you know. Just in case the fighter like misses and like near enough catches them, so it doesn't scrape on the hair pulling it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for Rose Lemonunas, the bald actually works. Her shaved hair. Yeah. And short hair. Yeah, it does work for her. Don't think it would have worked for Paige Van Zandt though. Mm. Oh. Villa. Philippa Brazil. Brazil's not actually a bad player. You know, I'd like to play that. Mm, some parts are okay. Mm. Some parts are poor areas where you might get robbed. Yeah, the I go. <laughs> <laughs> Same with America. Yeah, there's certain places in America where you probably don't want to go. Like, I'm sure you probably would want to go to Chicago, but mm, a bit, bit dangerous. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. I've, I've always said I want to go, but yeah, dangerous. So. And Florida, oh boy. Their the driving skills is lackluster there. I don't know about them either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about that again. This has been one of the most out highly anticipated out matches yeah. for I know a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. And we are underway. All right, here's the veteran Mike Pyle back for more, ready to go for round one. Pyle is an outstanding round one fighter. That is something his opponent has talked about here during fight week. Mike Pyle has no shortage of first round finishes. And if his opponent can get this out of this round, get it to a second round, perhaps the pendulum and the advantage swings his way. Man, he took that kick pretty well. Mm -hmm. Silva gets caught with that punch. All right, first round is underway, and I don't have to tell the avid fans you gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches. He does not discriminate power from both sides, and a big part of his game plan, obviously, coming in here tonight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Body kick. Look at that. Wow. These guys are going for it. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there. And he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. 
No, he's not. He's right behind. My mistake. She went down from that. <laughs> Not a bad fight at Ericsson. Mm -hmm. Are you into the fight to look for like that? But can he do that against Conor McGregor? Yeah. Oh, I don't think he can do that. That's probably the best thing about this one compared to the last one because the blocks didn't really give out much. Three, four, thirty-five, fifty-five. Damn, some speed on that. No, no submission attempts. No. Nope. 